So you're watching Stars Top 5. My name is Tunde Adebola. I'm an actor, a producer, and I write sometimes. So yeah, I will have to give you my top five Nollywood movies. Number five is When Love Happens. That movie, oh my god. The storytelling is so spectacular. I love the execution, I love the cast members. Uh, yes, they were trained the accent here and there, but uh, yeah, I think it was what helped the story. And then it's always a delight to see Shafi Bello. She's, she's always fun to watch. So that's my number five spot. Number four is The Meeting. Oh. <laughs> so who doesn't love a comedy? The Meeting is a comedy starring Rita Dominic. And um, it was also produced by Rita Dominic and Mildred Oko and also directed by Mildred and honestly so that was Femi Jacobs first movie and you wouldn't think it was his first the execution was good casting was good the picture was excellent I just I, I, I just liked the movie and it was funny as well and it was so close to real life because it was an experience you would get if you're used to going to all this um, government ministries this is the experience you would get when their secretaries build that wall and you cannot see a minister or a government official. So yeah, that's why I like the meeting. My number three is um, Phone Swap. Phone Swap, yes, another comedy. Who doesn't like a comedy? Phone Swap for me was um, a different story. Um, yes, it had a lot of product placements, which is one of them. Um, Kunlia for Lion's um, strength and the picture was really nice the acting and the actors so Insei Pe Etim was wonderful Walio Jo was great um, Ada Ame, oh yes, she's so funny I love the acting in the movie um, it was a good story, nicely executed and it's one movie I can watch over and over again so I'll just go to number two. Number two for me is 76. Now, why would you not love 76? The movie took years to produce and you could see it in the final product because it wasn't rushed. Uh, the research was on point. The actors interpreted their roles wonderfully. Um, again, Rita Dominic took it away for me. It was really, really nice. Ramsey Noah also, you know, delivered. Chidimokeme, you know, they all convinced us and it felt as if it was the true soldiers that were acting, acting the movie. And as a soldier's wife, Rita Dominic killed, she killed her role really well. And that's why I love 76. So um, that's my number two spot. And before I reveal my number one movie, I would have to recap. So number five for me, um, When Love Happens. Number four, The Meeting. Number three, Phone Swap. Number two, 76. And now for number one. Yes, I'm going to be able to be biased. Yes, I am Yoruba and it's going to be an indigenous language film, but it's produced by one of the greatest filmmakers ever. And that's in the person of Tunde Kelani. He can never go wrong wrong in my own opinion. He's a wonderful filmmaker, a total cinematographer and uh, so I am talking about my number one spot, Mami. Why do I like Mami? First of all, Tunde Kilani produced and directed it. Secondly, Funke Akindele killed a role as the lead actress. Oh my god, I could relate, I could see all of her pains. She just brought the character to life. Um, the cast were not extremely popular people, but that's one thing you would notice in most Tunde Kilani's production. He gives people like us the opportunity to, you know, show our skills as upcoming actors. And there were quite a few upcoming actors, or not so regular actors on that production, but everybody delivered what they should. And come to think of it, he actually used a real a uh, spot program to execute the story so it was so real and the delivery was on point and then you can never ever fault Tunde Kilani's um, picture quality 
is always on point and that is why Mami, not just because it's a Yoruba film, but it's a wonderful film. Mami is my number one spot. Okay, so um, you've heard my top five, you know. So my name is Tunde Adegola, like I said earlier. I'm an actor, a producer, and I will be signing out now. Keep watching Tribe.